So Bethany what? has decided to come out of the closet and yep. admit that she uses her alter ego to get her way. Nice. Yep. What is your alter ego's name? Buffy Witherspoon. Buff- <laughs> Buffy Witherspoon. <laughs> yes. Now, so this is another, is it another personality? Yes. Well, and and you, you can tap into her. Yes. But you do it consciously. It's not yes. something you just... <laughs> No, it's go not into like, from time to time. No, no. I so I am not good at business and and having to take like business calls and ask for money and things like that, stand up for myself in that way makes me very nervous and I'm not good at it. So who's Buffy Witherspoon? So Buffy Witherspoon is like I decided I I, I, t- I took a page out of the Beyonce book and I created an alter ego for business. And Buffy Witherspoon is very powerful, very self confident. Very good at business. Okay. She's all put together. Nothing intimidates her. She knows what she's doing, and and she's not scared when she goes into a business meeting. So if you have to go to a business meeting or you have to be on a call with yeah. someone, you you slip into Buffy Witherspoonville. Yes. And you become Buffy. Yes. And, and you and you actually perform better on the call than you would if you were Bethany. So much better. Wow. Like I stand a little taller. I walk a little straighter and more powerfully. I stand up for myself. Can you better. do it? Can you just recall Buffy Witherspoon right now? Like Let's I'm, ask her like some I'm, questions. Like I'm doing it right. Like you, if you were to talk to me, you wouldn't know. I, I don't. You put don't on have an a voice. Yeah. Hello. No, this of is course Buffy. I'm Buffy, Buffy Witherspoon. Witherspoon. How are you? It's more no. just a way to like tap into something that you already have, but you you may not feel the most confident about. And it works. So rather than just being confident, you you have to tap into this. You have to consciously yeah. move into business mode. Yeah, because if you say be confident, be confident, okay, it, it might work. But if you pretend to be somebody who's confident, yeah. for some reason, it works in your brain better. So what about you, Danielle? Do you have any uh, alter no, egos you tap into? but I'm going to work on it for certain things. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't know yet, but I'm going to work on it. I have it. one. What do you have? Belinda Morgan Stern. <laughs> Who's that? It's my alter ego. For what? <laughs> sex. <laughs> Belinda? Belinda Wouldn't you love to have sex with Belinda Morgan Stern? Not really. No, she sounds... No. Hi, I'm Belinda Morgan Stern. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making this up. No. I know, but I, I, I understand the alter ego thing. Sometimes, yeah. you know, in order to move into that mode, you have to consciously go, okay? Yeah. I'm a different person right now in order to achieve what I need to achieve on this phone call. Yeah, and you live up to that expectation. Because it, there's it almost feels like there's less pressure because you're not doing it yourself. Someone else is doing it. Right. It's not my fault. She said it, not yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Blame, blame the other personality. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's more fun if you give them a fabulous name. Straight Nate, don't you have any alter egos you tap into? Oh, not anymore. Does anyone in the room have an alter ego? They I used into? to be Michael J. Cox when I had a strip, but... But that was really you. <laughs> that, well, no, you have to put on a different persona when you do things like that. You can't just be Did you. Did you feel sexy? I did. You have yeah. to. You have to tell yourself you feel sexier when you do whatever you know your your alter ego is. You have to be extra whatever that yeah, alter yeah. ego like, is. Like, like Bethany, yeah. Buffy Witherspoon is is not like the typical Bethany. Right. She's but the com- way more confident. But a texture just said the combination of the two is Buffany. Which I kind of like. Are you Buffany? <laughs> Buffany. What's Gary? Oh, when I do phone taps as uh, our telemarketer, Mr. Michael Oppenheimer, I for the entire session become Michael Oppenheimer. The, for, whether I'm on the call or not, for a good 10 minutes before ramping up to it, I have to get into that character. He gets into the character. <laughs> uh, yes, Greg T. See, I like to think that I'm Greg T here, but I'm not Greg T at home. Like, I don't do the, my underwear trick in front of the kids at home <laughs> with Jane and Ella, and I don't coach I really the soccer team as Greg T. <laughs> right. Like, I'm not Greg T like that. Like, here, I'm. this is my alter ego. You know, if anyone is living a double life, it is Greg oh, T. Totally. Right. Like, yeah. I tell a lot of people, because, like, when people see me sometimes outside, they'll say, hey, there's kids here. Keep your clothes on. I'm like, come on, man. Only Monday through Friday, 6 to 10, am I taking my clothes off and picking dollar bills up with my butt, you know? But I won't do that at home because- But sometimes he has to remind us, this isn't me. Right. right. I'm a person. This yeah. isn't me. I'm a person. The person right. picking up dollar bills with his butt is not me. That's true. All and- right. Uh, hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Good morning. Happy Monday. Well, yeah. Woo! Uh, it is not a bad Monday, actually. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so, now, Buffy Witherspoon, you can relate with this? I can relate 110%. I am so much like Bethany. It, it's scary. Um, so much an introvert, but every day I have to put on my game face. I'm in sales, and I'm in, involved in the community, and I give presentations, and I... It's really, really, really hard for me, and so every morning I have to put on my game face. Do you have to be Buffy Witherspoon on your own? Yes. Well, you have to come up with your own name, though. Yeah. Yep, it's, it's my, my Buffy Witherspoon is my game face. It is synonymous. 
I love wow. that. Good for right. you. Good for you for figuring yeah. it out. It now, took me a long time. Is this Jennifer or Buffy we're talking to right now? <laughs> <laughs> it, I, it's actually Buffy. <laughs> all right. Hi, Buffy. Okay. I so, feel like you need yeah, that power exactly. briefcase and put all your documents in there. Yeah. I got, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got, I got documents. documents. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I've got, I can't imagine living a life where you have to have documents. I know. So many. So, so Jennifer, so we're not listening. And they all need signatures. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So and we're not talking it. to Jennifer at all. We're talking to Buffy. The real Jennifer probably wouldn't be on the phone right now. I like to sit at home and be quiet and watch movies and read books and not talk to anybody. So when I get in the car and head to work and put my name tag on, it's Game Face. All right, Game Face. All day. All right, Buffy. I mean, Jennifer, or which one, <laughs> yes. whichever one you are. But I All love, of the above. I love the fact that you called us, and, and uh, we, we love you, Jennifer, and thanks for listening to us. Thank you. Love you guys. Isn't it weird someone calls you Jennifer, but you're really Buffy that, at that moment? <laughs> that no, no, I'm not, I'm not Jennifer. I'm Buffy. Uh, hello, Christy. I mean, Adam. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing okay. So who is your alter ego? Mine is Kip Weatherly. Oh, Kip Weatherly. Oh, that's Ooh. the best name ever. No, no, no. Weatherly. What is the difference between Adam and Kip Weatherly? Uh, I'm pretty, uh, just like me, I'm outgoing and I like to hang out and have fun, but I got a couple friends. Uh, they work in a government type situation. I usually go to their events. Like, if I go to their events, there's a bunch of people there that I don't know, and they're drinking bourbon and high expensive scotches. And I just change my alter ego, and I become Kip Weatherly. Wow. And I graduated from Yale in 94. <laughs> I graduated in three years. I'm business business management, you know, and take care of all kind of stuff. And so you feel like you've got to, you have to make a almost physical switch into a different personality in order, absolutely, in, yes, in order yes. to win in that room. Mm-hmm. Yes. So wait, yep, are you absolutely. Adam right now or Kip Weatherly? I am Adam right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. I'd love to have I do, some. I do change a little bit when I become Kip. I, you know, sometimes, and I do have friends that are Buffy and stuff like that. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, does Kip so have- it's, does Kip have credit cards? Because technically he doesn't have to pay the bills. Uh, yeah, not too many. Like, I, I usually just pay, pay straight cash yeah. when I'm out. Like, Kip, uh, Kip cash. pays in cash. Like, Kip pays in cash. Pays in cash. Pays in cash. Gotcha. Thank, you, thank you, Adam. Yeah. You tell Kip we said hi. We'd love to have All right. a, love to have All right a, thank you. I'd love to have a scotch with Kip sometime. <laughs> All right, we'll do. Thank Thanks you. for listening to us. And then you have Christy. Hi, Christy. Hi, how are you? We're doing well. Now, am I talking to you or who am I talking to? Ray and I are talking to Jessica because Christy doesn't like people, so she doesn't talk to anybody. Okay, so <laughs> so Jessica is your alter ego, and she's the one who picked up the phone and called us. Yes. What is your, what is your last name, Jessica? Jessica Suli. I feel Je- like it sounds powerful. I Jessica Suli. It, mm-hmm. it does. What, is, what does Jessica have that you don't have, technically? A very, very outgoing personality. Mm-hmm. And like you, a little more trusting and confident when they speak to people. And Jessica's okay with people, but Christy doesn't like it's people. not. No. Yeah, because people oh, suck wow. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like a loner. I don't look at anybody in the face if I don't have to. I do it for like, when I'm at work, I have to deal with people. That's my job. I have to basically sell the company and, you know, get you on board with us and keep you happy. But outside of work, it's like I hit the clock out switch, and that's it. Like, don't talk to me anymore. She I goes back to Christy. Anymore. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. I'm not Jessica now. I'm Christy. I'm Leave Christy. me alone. Go away. I hate you. Well, I'm glad you <laughs> called us Christy or Jessica. Either one. You sound perfectly fine. And thanks for listening to us. Thank you. Thanks. Not all people suck, but a lot of them do. So I can see can. why we must have alter egos. Hello, Emily. Hi, Elvis. Good morning. Well, good morning. Am I speaking to you, Emily, or who am I speaking with? Who's your alter ego? Well, my alter ego comes out when I drink too much. It's Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so what happens? So how are you different as your, as Ursula? Um, I'm fabulous for sure, but I kind of get a little bitchy. Do you sing Poor Unfortunate Soul? I do. My boyfriend's like, can you stop embarrassing us at the bar? Please? I, love I love you. I love Ursula. I love you. I want to have drinks with Kip Weatherly yeah. and Ursula. I, I will be Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty and we will go out together and party. We ask, my mom's Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. Nice. I'm Cruella DeVille. Uh, you are. Hey, thank you for listening, Emily. You and uh, Ursula have a beautiful day. All right. Love you guys.